Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Shavi Zane and I'm coming on to have a discussion with you all in regards to the Shanquilla Robinson case, okay? So as most of you are aware, recently uh, the courts or this so-called judicial system decided that they cannot take on the case because it is outside of their jurisdiction. And because it occurred out in Mexico that it is now up to Mexico to determine what is going to be the fate of those who were present that we are aware of, what will be the fate of those people and, and whether or not they're even going to take on the case, okay, to extradite them or whatever the case may be. Fact of the matter is, you know, I did that reading in regards to Shanquilla, uh, Shanquilla around the time that it took place, and it was very clear that it was a sacrifice. Many of you who whose eyes are awakened who's not asleep up underneath the spell of this matrix and this demonic system recognized that it was definitely a sacrifice, one that was made public on purpose. The message that they wanted to get across to those of you who are wondering was, even if it's on film, even when it is filmed and it is out there for the world to see, what they wanted you to know is that the laws that they have in place, the statutes, the policies that they have put in place with their judicial system, they always find a loophole or a way to remind you that they are wicked as hell and that they have no intention on bringing forth justice on behalf of specifically melanated beings. They put it on film to remind you of that, okay? Not only that, but they also filmed it because the sacrifice was not just for those people that you saw on camera. It was not just to benefit them. Yeah, they, they got a little payout. Likely they got a little payout, okay? Of course, I can't say anything is factual, right? But this is my speculation. Likely they got a payout. They did what they did against her because they was jealous of her. But there's people behind the scenes. There's manipulators, the so-called mastermind of the sacrifice behind the scenes that you will never see. That will never be mentioned when it comes to this hideous crime that was done against this young woman. They put it on camera because when they siphoned the energy, it was all about energy harvesting, first of all. The sacrifice in and of itself but it was about energy harvesting because they knew that it would have many people across the world in an uproar, many people grieving, many people angry, many people in fear, hurt off the strength that this was placed out in on the on the plat on 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 display for the world to see. And they would ultimately turn around and say, our hands are our hands are off of this. There's nothing that we can do. What this reminded you all of is that this system is nothing but a criminal enterprise. How can you not see it at this point? It was built on criminality. Every brick that has been laid to build it to its capacity of power today has been laid through bloodshed, thievery, lies, deception, wickedness, spell work, rituals, sacrifice is no secret. And they recognize that they can't do these things the way that they used to do it was, okay, they might give somebody a little slap on the wrist, give somebody a little bit of time when they would do these sacrifices. But the fact of the matter is the majority of those who were involved in the sacrifices, they was allowing them to get away. But most of the world did not see that largely because most people didn't think that sacrifices was being done. For whatever reason, people did not realize that sacrifices has been a major part of this system for quite some time now. Even though most people are Christian, most of the world is Christian, <laughs> at least half. Most of the world is aware of the sacrifice of Yeshua an ascended master who came here to teach others to open up their eyes against a, a wicked and crooked system that was indoctrinating you. 
Most of the world is aware of that sacrifice. But because of the spell work and the indoctrination of this system, you just didn't see that all of it was built upon. That was one of the first sacrifices that they made public. And every other sacrifice that they have done to melanated beings since then have been made public. Even before we was able to pick up the phone and see these things on social media, whether it was by way of someone filming it on their cell phone or seeing it through these so-called police cams, which they turn on and off at their leisure or they blur it out if they don't want you to see certain things. These things have been made public even prior to that when they was lynching our ancestors and having large groups of people stand around while they watched a person, you know, struggle until their last breath. Public sacrifices have been a major part of the building of this beast system. But when your eyes are asleep, when your eyes are closed, and when you're so caught up in the fallacy and the illusion of the matrix, you just don't see beyond the veil. But because we're in the age of Aquarius and the age of information, nothing can be hidden. And they know this. And so this is why they do these things out in the open. Clear as day. Put it out there for the world to see. But we'll still be able to absolve ourselves and to make it look as if we're not as bad if we say that, oh, well, we tried to investigate the case for Shanquilla, but fact of the matter is, based on our rules and regulations, it's outside of our hands. These people change policies and so-called laws on a daily damn basis. They even turn around and tell you, well, there's no more daylight savings time. You ain't got to change your clock back. Then they turn around and tell you to push it forward. They think they got so much power in jurisdiction, they could change something like that, but you can't adjust a, a so-called law to ensure that justice is served on behalf of someone who was so clearly lynched and sacrificed? These people believe that they are the most high God. They have placed themselves into a position of being a God, largely because too many of us, including our ancestors, gave them that permission. They, we gave them that position of authority for a long time in our sleep state. Many of us stood in these lines to vote for these presidents and these so-called politicians thinking that if we get the right person in the office, somehow we can gain, we can get some justice here. Some, somehow we can shift the unjust situations that's been happening right here in front of our faces. But the fact of the matter is we were giving them more power when we put our signature on the dotted line. Why? Because we were saying to them, we believe in your system. We believe in your structure. We support you existing when what we should have been doing was saying to hell with your system. I have so many things I want to say, y'all, but I'm going to I'm gonna bring it down a notch. This is one of the reasons why I avoided having this conversation when they first came out and said what was going on with Shanquilla because I already knew. But th th see, this is the thing, though. This is why I want y'all to still give praise and honor to the most high God is because as much as slick as these fools think they are, I'm talking about this system the powers that were I including the little, the little pawns, you know, the little pawns that was used to actually take her life. I'm talking about those six people that was there with her on that trip. These are little pawns and others who was involved behind the scenes. Okay. I'm telling y'all it's a whole community of people. Her sacrifice was done as a part of feeding the beast of the system because they recognized that many people would connect to her, especially, especially the melanated beings. They need our energy, y'all. And so they will get our energy by any means necessary. What they feed off of is our energy of grieving, fear, anger. They feed off of that and they feed it to the beast because their beast is dying. We've been pulling back. We've been disconnecting from the system. So she was one of those public sacrifices that they used to try to get that beast, you know, try to try to get that beast back thriving just a little bit. But that that thing is bucking and it's on its last. Trust and believe that. Their time is up. And we need to give praise to the most high mother and father largely because 
for every single person that was involved, known and unknown. Even though this criminal judicial system did not handle the case, it wasn't meant for them to handle the case. They would have they would have found some sort of loophole either way to not handle the case because her sacrifice was done on their benefit. So they was going to absolve themselves some way, shape, or form, okay? But the fact that it was not handled through this judicial system means that it is a raging war in the spiritual realm. And the type of judgment that's getting ready to come down upon the heads of everybody involved, known and unknown in low and high places, is getting ready to be the type of judgment where they will wish, they will wish that this judicial system would have just locked them up and threw away the key. Because the judgment is getting ready to be that harsh. If y'all think that prison is the worst sentence that a person can get for the sacrifice of the chosen, you got another thing coming. The reason why they didn't get put behind bars is because that sentence would have been too light. Even if it was 50 life sentences, it would have been too light for them. They are getting ready to suffer a punishment that goes beyond bars. Bars that they, they listen y'all, I'm talking about mental prison. I'm talking about physical illness. I'm talking about losing everything that they have ever loved. And not just one lifetime, but I'm talking about many lifetimes. These are the type of judgment that judgments that the Most High and our spiritual team brings down upon the heads of those who think that they escape the laws of the Most High God. You can escape the laws of this world because the laws of this world was not structured around righteousness and justice and honor. You can escape that, but you cannot escape the laws of the Most High. You can't escape the laws of the universe, the laws of cause and effect. But these people were so asleep, they got bamboozled. They really believed in the system and the beast of the system, and they thought that these low vibrational entities was going to protect them. But even the entities that they conjured up has to suffer. We speak that. The highest form of righteous judgment. And we did this before. Some of you all was around when we did this ritual. Concerning the sacrifices that's being done against the chosen. Even the agenda or the conspiracy to sacrifice. We all lit a candle and we wrote on that candle. And if you haven't done it, you want to do it now. Join us in the energy of, of bringing down this false, this beast system. We wrote on the candle, on a white candle, on the glass of a candle. You use a permanent marker. I declare and decree that all rituals and sacrifices done against the chosen is now the demise of the wicked of the wicked entities or beings that conjured up or planned the sacrifice and you put in spirit and in flesh in sleep and awakened state across all timelines, realms, and dimensions, known and unknown. That may not have been the exact words. I might have to post the link to the message that I did. It was actually a <coughs> it was actually a ritual that we had done surrounding the sacrifice of Yeshua. But it was to represent the turning back of energy, the boomerang effect. The next time these beings, these low vibrational beings, because you can't even call them humans, the next time they attempt to sacrifice, they plan to sacrifice, they conspire to sacrifice, or even if they are successful at actually sacrificing or taking the life of one of the chosen, that every single energy that they thought they was going to use it for it now turns back on them. So then the sacrifice now represents their demise. You take one of us, you, you all get taken out. You take one of us, your loved ones get taken out. We, This is a spiritual warfare, y'all. Everything starts in the spiritual realm first and then it manifests into the physical. And one of the, the, the greatest, 
one of the major problems that we've had as a people is that we always felt like we don't have enough fight in us to overcome and to bring down these beings that run this system. We always thought that we needed to go out here and march. We always thought that we needed to have more missiles, more pistols, more, uh, you know, people to stand to fight on a physical level, but everything as above, so below. The type of power that we possess is spiritual power to shift and move every part of this existence when we awaken to who we are. This is why these people, this system has been so adamant and they have been so meticulous and they have conspired on a deep level to ensure that we was far removed from our spiritual understanding, far removed from our connection to the Most High Father and Mother, far, from, far removed from the power that has been embedded in our DNA. They didn't want us working with the elements. They didn't want us recognizing the power to create and to manifest with our minds and with our thoughts and with the words that we speak and to declare and decree destruction over them. We're talking about a spiritual power that we possess to tear down this whole doggone system. Those are the type of missiles that their little system, they can't do nothing about that. There's not one law in place where they can try to take down a community of people that's out here doing rituals against their ass. They can't do nothing about that. That's, that is their biggest fear when it comes to us. Ain't nothing more fearful to these people than melanated people coming together and awakening to the fact that we do not serve no doggone white, excuse me, no European, because ain't none of them white, just like ain't none of us black. We are melanated beings. We do not serve. We do not bow down to. We do not pray to a European God that was created by their system. But there's still a lot of a lot of our people, though. Y'all already know this. You can't tell them nothing. Okay? You can't tell them nothing. That's usually those that get swept up with Babylon, though. You see what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Maybe in the next lifetime they'll awaken to the truth. Because some of them they won't wait, they won't awaken to it in this one. <laughs> they, they strongly hold on to that belief system and they will not release it because they, they, it's been embedded within them from a space of fear. They fear hellfire. Okay. And so we step into our power on a spiritual level and this is weird. The type of judgment y'all These people are going to start to realize, even, even those who are not in a position of so-called authority in this, this underworld that's been created by this false-ass uh, matrix, even if they're little pawns, you know, like the people that was there with Shanquilla, those are pawns. They ain't got no position of authority in the underworld. They just fucking pawns. Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, and that's why I said <laughs> I'm going to try to, you know, pull it back a little bit because y'all know I don't talk like that. But it's in me to come out like that right now because I'm, I'm feeling some fire within me concerning this. And I hope that you all have that same righteous indignation that does not cause you to just become angry and just sit in your anger feeling like it's not fair and kicking your feet. No, we don't respond that way. We say, okay, time to go pull out the candles. Time to call on my ancestors. Time to call on my spiritual team. Time to give thanks to the Most High Mother and Father for bringing that gavel down. Time for real justice to be served on a spiritual level. Because again, as above, so below. You create it in the spiritual realm and it's going to be that much more powerful in the physical. It doesn't always happen overnight. But it's going to happen. Know this. And the more we come together in numbers to declare and decree and to establish that it is so, knowing that it is taken care of by the Most High and our spiritual team, because these are the types of things that the Most High and our spiritual team is not going to let pass by. When we call out for these types of things, this is true justice being served. They got our back, front, sides, and hey, 360 degrees. You best believe that on all four corners of the globe in spirit and in flesh, when it comes down to getting rid of the wickedness, but it only, it took for us to awaken 
and to start awakening in numbers. Y'all are out there. I see you. You're there. You got that fire in you. You know the powers that you possess. You know that you're the alchemist. You know that you can transmute this energy and balance out the scales. And we're going to do it together. I'm over here doing it on a regular basis, y'all. I got candles burning as we speak. This is far greater than anything these little peons in this judicial system could have done to put something on paper and say, well, we'll lock up this person for the sake of appeasing the public now. They recognize they have no authority over this one because they done messed up. This is the time in the age of Aquarius when all of us spiritual beings, all of us chosen our awakening. This is not the right time for them to be out here just outright doing crazy stuff. But the reason why they're doing it is because they want to put you back to sleep under the energy of fear. They figure if we can, if we put it out there in their face, it doesn't matter how awakened they are. They're going to go right back to sleep because at this point, they're going to feel like there's nothing they can do about it. You a lie. You a lie. Trust and believe they've lied to themselves. So get them candles out, y'all. Get these declarations going. Right, burn, and release. I destroy and release and declare and decree that all wickedness, the entire system, that has been built on wickedness, all people in places of so-called high authority, the powers that were, every last one of them that have done sacrifices known and unknown, every last agenda and conspiracy that they have against the chosen, whether it's been done, currently being done, or that they plan on doing is now destroyed. Y'all know I don't have to tell you word for word what to write because you know through your own righteous indignation, you're going you gonna to know what to put on that paper and burn. And you're going to call on your spiritual team. Y'all know what to do. Get them candles lit. I declare and decree that the highest form of righteous judgment is now casted upon the heads of our enemies. And that justice is now served on behalf of our ancestors and those who are currently being... Um, uh, uh, you know, y'all already know what to say. I'm just, my mind is just, but those who are currently being abused and misused by this system and those who they conspire to abuse and misuse in the future, we're going to cover past, present, and future energy. Cause that's what you have been given the authority to do. See, the thing is these people, they got, they got very little power in comparison to those of us who are the chosen who have been sent down here on planet earth to shift the energy. They got very little. I'm talking about like the size of a freaking pebble. Not even that, a piece of sand. They have very little authority. You can sit on a freaking bench with a robe on and a gavel in your hand, but at the end of the day, the same people got to lay down at night and they better hope that that's not their last breath. They better hope that when they wake up, they got a sound mind. They better hope that when they wake up, their loved ones are still alive and kicking. That is something that they have no control over. These people, they're disposable. But see, it's a spiritual thing that we have to step into. This is spiritual, y'all. So we're going to do what's necessary to ensure that justice is served because we have the authority to do that. That's my message for you all. And again, I apologize for, you know, shooting out the F-bomb because y'all know I don't usually talk like that. But that's that righteous indignation that's coming up. So I love you all. Like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll talk to you all next time.